Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I want to give a shout out to For Your Inner Voice at um, For Your Inner Voice at Chidentity at Nye Only Speaks at Absolutely Beautiful 215 at Galaxy 2 Goddess at Honora Rivera for all of your support. Yostera Bochita, uh, Latanya Hamilton, uh, the African Chamber in Nevada, um, who else? Uh, Free Spirit, at Free Spirit on Instagram. So all of the ads go to Instagram. If I didn't say at, fi you know, find their name on Facebook to see what they're doing, I got to get their ad signs and more. Many people support us and sometimes we forget them. I want to always remember to lift those up who have lifted me and um, even those that were um, frenemies. I want to lift you up. You know who you are. But I woke up this morning and I got my exercise on, right? And what I heard was busting out, right? And we're in a season where we are, if we're aware, conscious, we are busting out of the L7 paradigm. I've taught, you know, my astrology classes um, on those areas. You'll see me go uh, in different areas because, you know, I've been um, led to learn psychology um, techniques, um, theology uh, methods, as well as astrology. And I even worked in um, cosmetology. That was the first uh, profession that I went into when I owned hair salon. So there's a lot to me. And at this time in my life, what I found um, as I continue to explore me is there were areas that I did not explore, such as my heart um, and how my heart has went out and assisted many people you know, in their needs. And, you know, sometimes life will bring you back to a place and ask you to explore you to find out what you have not explored about yourself. And one of the things that I found when I really sat down and I looked at that was I hadn't explored enjoyment. I allowed other people to enjoy their lives because I supported them and I was there for them seriously and sincerely, you know? And, you know, I believe that our lives go in a certain way so that we can learn things. And when we learn those things, we have a choice and an opportunity to break out of self-imposed imprisonment. Self-imposed imprisonment means that you have been confined to something because of your thoughts. So when you realize that those thoughts are not conducive to your happiness, you realize, but there's a conscious awakening you begin to free yourself. Imprisonment. Mental imprisonment is self-imposed as in the social construct, the society where we live. We are in a paradigm of illusions, right? So when you wake up from the illusions, what happened is, is you'll find that either your economic situation is not as you thought it was, um, or you didn't have to live according to the way that all of society has said it. And that's not meaning that we go into illegal circumstances to uh, get money, but you'll find that money is actually energy. Your energy, right? Because you go back and you research and you'll find that money, that paper, it was not in the beginning of time. And so I'm a student of time. Go back and find out where this thing came from. So biologically, we have issues of imprisonment mentally concerning uh, generations of sickness, mental illness. And I'm not saying in any way that this is self-imposed, but if you research it, you may get some alleviation from anxiety, um, bipolar, you can research and find things that will help you in a struggle with bipolar. Um, schizophrenia, as a matter of fact, you study and find out what works for you. And not to say that you should not take your medicine because a lot of uh, clients 
that are mentally challenged, they go into drugs because they don't like the effects of medicine. So all of these things, we research ourselves and we find out how we have allowed ourselves to be in prison, right? Um, you may have to take medication, but you may find something else that's going to help you to function better rather than just, mm, just laying around and being, um, sometimes I think that sometimes we're feeling like we're hopeless. No one is hopeless. Whatever situations we have in life, we're given them because we have the ability to overcome them. So that is mental imprisonment concerning sickness. You learn how to regulate even your diet, you know, your meal plan around whatever sickness you have. <laughs> and a lot of people, even with hypertension, they have it because it's been biologically, you know, passed down in the DNA, but there's something that possibly we have to learn how to change concerning our eating, our eating habits. So then we go into economics. If you are economically living in lack, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you want to begin to study yourself, your habits, change them, <clears throat> work with people that have different economic habits. If you have challenges in relationships, you wanna work around or be around people that have successful relationships or even research what it takes. You know, look at your own behavior and say, what am I bringing to the table that keeps me in a loop where I'm moving from man to man and woman to woman? Because if we don't sit down and begin to look at ourselves, then where is, um, that mental in prison, the L7, the box, the square, you know, that Rick James talked about busting out of this L7 square. The square is, as I, I, I said, teaching my, the people that come into my astrology classes, the squares are in our natal chart from the beginning. Those are areas that we have to um, begin to work at opening up to. That means that if I'm resistant to actually communicate with people, um, and listen to them um, that I always have to have the upper hand. When I realize that this is a problem, no one's communicating back with me, that I'm always the one talking, I need to research my communication um, method. Now, I was in situations at times in my life where I heard everyone speaking and I was observant. Observation is a very strong point for me because I work in behavior health. That means that the first thing I'm going to do is look at a person's behavior, their body, and I'm gonna learn a whole lot. Even when I was in cosmetology, I learned to look at the hair and my mind would begin to design a hairstyle for them. So as I progressed in life, or I like to say evolve at this time in my life, because I don't, I don't want to resolve anything. While Saturn and Aquarius is coming together, I want to evolve because we're in a new age, right? A lot of people didn't even want the new age to come or for you to speak of it. But this energy that we're feeling is helping us to feel better and even sense a, 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 a um, a spirit of freedom here um, at this point in time. We needed it because the last, um, I would say for me, the last 10 years have been hell, but I survived. I survived and I took the lessons that I had um, ascertained from the last 10 years and I'm making them um, a product of sales, increase a product that will help others change their lives. And that's why, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, put out short videos. I'll talk about the young ladies that I work with. Um, I'm committed to um, allowing myself to love in spite of a lot of the hardships that I've went through. Uh, the devil within us and that devil that, those devils that we attract would like for us to change our commitment to love. But what did you study Christianity for? What did you study the scriptures for? Didn't you study them so that you would become a better person? Well, what does that mean to you? It means that you continue to let your light shine and you, don't, you do not let others put your light out. Because there is a day 
when the sun will shine and rise for you in you. Now, the L7, again, has to do with your weaknesses. Whatever weaknesses you have and you um, are running from, then you commit yourself. If you want to lose weight, let's just say that, break out of the box with your idea of, I can't do this and I can't do that. I can't stop eating. You know, I have a nervous condition. I have anxiety. I have to feed anxiety with dysfunction. If there's drugs, break out, make a decision that your life means more. If you're in a relationship or you've been in relationships and they fail, take the time to research yourself and stop blaming other people. I mean, I did. I did. Because everyone that I attracted, when I said devil earlier, I attracted me. That means that I was attracting my shadow. The people that have been a part of my life that, you know, I allowed to make me feel uncomfortable were people that were actually challenging me to go to another level. So I say no resolve. I say evolve. And I had a challenge, you know, when I started this 50 plus wellness, 50 plus because I am 55 years old, 56 uh, in December for this month, exploring what you had not explored by your, for yourself. Because I had been looking at life and learning from life so much. When that idea came to me and it was God, I began to say, I, I didn't explore the heart, my heart for myself. I didn't explore love for myself. I mean, I love myself, but I was giving, giving the love away. I was giving everything to everyone, community, work, um, family. I was giving that away. And, you know, something came and I had to go back and sit down and say, now, what have you allowed yourself to be confined to that you didn't find within yourself? or you didn't look at, cause I knew it was there and it was my heart. Even the beauty that gleams from me. Yes, the beauty that gleams through my heart and what attracts people to me. Why can I help people? Why can't we help ourselves? If we can help others, we truly can help ourselves, right? So now your life begins to evolve as you ask. I said, God, I don't wanna resolve with anything or anyone, I want evolution. That means that at this point in my life, I want to attract people that understand the beauty and the wealth within them. That's why my organization is called Inner Faith Wealth Builders. I want, and the young ladies, Talana and um, Honora that worked so hard in the streets over the last decade with me, I want us to demonstrate and teach people the wealth within. Your external wealth does not last because if you don't understand imprisonment of sickness or mental health that you can alleviate and live a, a functional life or the fact that you can become rich, if you don't explore it from within, you will not be able to maintain it if sickness comes upon your body. If your mind does not shift from a lack mentality, even if you're hoarding money and you're not supporting others and you don't think about the love within yourself or you don't think about loving others, something will begin to decrease in your life. You will lose people, which is lack. You will go back to the same fear that you had that drove you to get whatever you have in life. If it's money, if it's uh, a house, if it's car, you, you'll, you'll still be in that energy of fear that will take things away from you. So interfaith wealth builders, giving you the understanding of what wealth really means. Faith is within you. You build when you release the fear of things, release the fear of, of life and living, release the fear of living, live. That's why Jesus said the abundant life, it is for you. He said, I've come that you would have abundant life, but did we really 
accept it. After you go through experiences in life and life is not, you know, a nine to five job. Life is experiences that we're here to learn. So whatever you mastered, look at the areas that you have not mastered and continue to master areas that you have not. That's what manning your L7 is. Prophetess Kamor talks about manning her L7 a lot. And that came up when I started teaching them the understanding of their astrology chart, where the squares are. So Rick James is saying, we're busting out. We're busting out of this L7 square. It is a choice to free yourself from self-imprisonment. Now, you want to hear a little bit before I go off? Come on, let's do this. All right. I was a square. I'm, I'm busted out of that. That's why you'll see me at least three days a week en encouraging people to get up and exercise. When you 55 and over, you ain't got to live a life of death. Retire? Really? Enjoy your life. Whatever problems you got, they will go away as long as you can maintain happiness and enjoyment. Get free of people that are not in that same energy. Get free of people that try to convince you that you are not something that you are. And find who you are. It's my time. I'm convinced. You ain't got to be. Because it's all about me. Be a part of me. Because the sun is shining. Be a part of we. Because all of us got it. All right, y'all have a good day.